to my channel and if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a juicy story time. It's something I haven't really actually been able to talk about because we have been taking legal action on it. And honestly, just starting off the video tells you right there, you girl's about to get heated. <laughs> One thing I do not fuck with is my kids or my parenting and I'm just gonna shut my mouth. We're gonna get right into the video because it is gonna be probably a long one, I'm assuming. So to start off, I have to give a background to any new viewers out there. I was a teen mom, so I had my first son at 17, my second son at 19. So I am 20 years old, I'm young. I look 12 anyway, so that doesn't really help. And I walk around with two kids and it confuses a lot of people. <laughs> And that detail is very important because that is kind of what led to everything. But to start off this story, I gotta kind of tell you what was going on. So it was Patrick, Buddy, and then my two kids and myself. Buddy is Patrick's very, very best friend. But yeah, we were hanging out with him and we were going to cook dinner and we needed groceries. So we decided to go to Smith's. So we went to the store and any parents out there, you feel me? Taking your kids to the grocery store, it's not a fun experience, okay? It's it's not, let's just say like a lot of screaming kind of goes on, at least in my life, I don't know. Maybe I just have bratty children, I don't know. <laughs> it's just not a fun experience. Grayson tries to run all over the place, eat the entire store, like honestly, same. He sees like a Butterfinger and he's like, mom, look, gotta have it. And I'm like, look son. It's not how that works. So we had just picked up Buddy and he lives on the other side of town. So we drove all the way back to our side of town and instead of like dropping us and the kids off, we just decided to go to the grocery store on the way home. So there we are at Smith's. I'm inside the car. And to also let you guys know, I live in Vegas. So it is typically a pretty hot area, but it was nighttime. Nonetheless, I'm not sitting in the car with the car off, okay? Your girl's not about that life. I could spare some gas to have some AC because it is Vegas and even when it is nighttime, it's still warmer. It's not like scolding hot, but it's like AC is your best friend, okay? So I had the AC on, I had the music on, and I was actually sitting in the back with both of my kids. And if you've been following for a while, then you know August is not good inside the car, like at all. So I'm telling you, I have crazy kids. <laughs> August hates when the car is still. So even like at red lights, anything with the car not moving, he is going to be screaming. So I decided to take him out of the car seat and I breastfed him and then I was playing with him. I was going up and down with him and acting like I was putting him in Grayson's car seat and Grayson was like dying laughing at that and I was just playing with the kids and at this time I was actually texting some of my best friends. I was texting Olivia, Megan, and Bia. We all have a group chat so I was just kind of texting in there, hanging out with my kids while they were going to get groceries. Again, with my car on, with my AC on. <laughs> Another really important part to the story is that our car does not have tint on it. So it's something that we do want to get. <laughs> Again, we live in Las Vegas. So like that's already not a fun experience is not having tint on your car. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically just when you get the windows darker so that way the sun is not just like sitting in your lap. So we don't have that. You literally could just see inside our window. Important part to the story. Okay, so I'm sitting there playing with my kids and all of a sudden this big guy comes and knocks on my car window and I'm like scared as crap. My doors are locked, but I don't, I, I'm still scared. And I like look over and then I realize he's security. So I'm like, okay, it's okay. Like, are we not parked correctly? Like what's going on? Security doesn't just like knock on your door for no reason. So. I'm talking through the window because I still didn't want to like roll down the window. I'm super sketch and I just, I don't trust anybody. He's mouthing to me something and I'm trying to make it out and I finally make it out and he's like, Are your parents inside the store? Guys, I am dying laughing, so my car just about got broken into, like no joke. <laughs> Security guy thought that I was their sister because I'm sitting in the back and I guess I already look young. And um, he comes over and he was like, are your parents inside the store? And I was so confused. And then he was like, you got the AC on? And he was like, you need me to get you out? And I was like, no, like I'm good. I am their mom. What are you doing? Don't kick him. But yeah. Keep in mind, this was a little bit after I got my lip injections. So my lips are like this. <laughs> and 
I probably just look like a porn star, to be honest, with my white hair and my big ass lips. I just feel like I didn't look young enough to assume that I was super young. And I'm like, oh no, 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 like I'm their parents. And I don't think he quite understood what I was saying. And he was like, is the AC on or are you needing me to bust you out of there? And again, still very confused because regardless, the youngest I probably look is like, what, seven? A seven year old is capable of just unlocking the door and opening it. So I'm confused at why he was asking to like bust open my car. And I was like, no, 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 like AC's on. And like I point over and another huge important part to the story is I have a Ford Fusion. So there is a huge touch screen that literally like just says like the radio. You could tell that the car is on again with my see-through windows. I just would assume like if the car is on, you would think that the AC is on and that we're okay. I'm not mad at the security guard at all. He was doing his job. It was just kind of fun to me because common sense but I totally get it it's a liability thing again I don't know why at this point because now I feel comfortable why I didn't roll down my window but he totally understands so he walks away and probably about five minutes after he comes back to my window and knocks on it and he's like you need me to bust you out and I'm like no bro like the AC's on we're good I don't know I just thought maybe because there have been a lot of things on the news about you know people leaving their kids in the car there's been a lot of things about that so he was just trying to be maybe overly cautious I don't know and so after that I then start to notice as people are leaving they are staring directly at my car we're parked kind of like towards the front of the store and like immediately people are like coming out and like peering over and then looking at my car and then like squinting into it it wasn't me being crazy like there was something going on and I was just very confused <laughs> I just see buddy and Pat like storm out of the store and Patrick looks pissed like I know my husband he was pissed <laughs> and they had all the groceries and everything and he opens up the car door and I was like what's going on like I knew something at this point was going on he then explains to me what happened in the store of basically some lady was making a huge scene that there were kids locked inside the car with no AC and the white Ford out front basically screaming her lungs out, letting all the security know. They were calling the entire time, like the owner of the Ford up to the front, owner of the Ford up to the front. So Pat went up to the front and talked to the security guard. And he was like, no, there's a girl in the car. And I don't know, Pat, why the fuck did you not say my wife, their mother is in the car? <laughs> like, I don't know why he said like, there's a girl in the car, but this is just, it's what he said. So Pat's pissed. He's telling me what's happening as he's like unloading the groceries. I was like, should I go and talk to the security guard just to make sure everything's okay? Because this is like our neighborhood Smiths. Like that's embarrassing. I know these people and I don't want them to think I left my kids in the car. Even though he saw me, I don't like, I was just kind of confused about the whole entire situation. Then we see the lady who Pat said was the one screaming up front. She was hiding behind a car, watching our car the entire time, and she comes out with her phone and starts recording my car and yelling that we are bad parents. At that point, I'm trying, like, if you guys have ever, like, squeezed between two car seats, it is the hardest thing in the world to try to get out of the car. You have to, like, go through the front. Since Buddy was already sitting in the front and Pat was loading the groceries, I'm, like, trying my best to get out to be like, girl, I'm sitting in the car with my kids, so I'm trying to get out front. And she yells, don't worry, I already called the police and drives off. And so now I'm pissed. Like, it's one thing to think that something is wrong, but you obviously see me sitting in the car with my kids. Regardless if you thought that I was their mother or not, I look old enough to sit in a car with kids and my car is see-through. You literally can see that the car is on. My lights were on. At my, You see... It's not hard to tell when a car is on versus it not. It makes a noise, especially, I don't know, guys, I'm getting mad. Um, so from there, I bust out and go inside the store and talk to the security guard in case he didn't quite understand. I didn't know if there was like a communication barrier because I didn't roll down my window. It's like, I don't know, I just didn't know what they thought. So I went inside to talk to the security guard and was like, look, dude, I'm their mom and so the security guard starts busting out laughing and he yells to like all the other security guards because there were multiple which I don't it's a Smiths nobody's thieving at the Smiths but anyway he's literally shouting to all the security guards 
hey, it's the girl, it's the girl, she was the mom. So the security guard that I was talking to comes over. I was like, dude, what's going on? You saw me in the car. And he was like, yeah, basically the lady was making a huge scene, kind of like what Pat was saying about how there were kids in the car, three kids. She thought I was a freaking kid. And guys, I have pictures. I want, I'm gonna insert pictures of how it looked inside the car because you literally could see that I'm sitting in the middle holding the baby and I don't know, I don't think I look too young to not be able to sit in the car and like supervise two kids. But anyway, he's basically telling me the story. She called the police inside the Smiths. So he basically told me I could either wait there to talk to the police myself or he has me because they also have security footage of me sitting inside the car with the kids and that she was crazy. He was telling me that he kept telling her that there was somebody old enough inside the car with the kids and that it was fine and she continued to make a scene and then continued to call the police. So that's just kind of like where I'm pissed. You literally were told it was okay. <laughs> you literally were told that there was AC and you were told that there was somebody in the car with the kids. Regardless if I was their mother or not, I, I'm just confused at like why she continued to make a scene and then decided to record me and my kids. So we decided to wait there to talk to the police. Police were honestly kind of pissed that it was like a stupid situation like that, especially for the fact that the security guard told her that everything was okay and he physically saw that the AC was on and physically saw somebody in the car. That opens up for another case in itself. So yeah, everything is handled now. Now, obviously nothing became of it besides me just being furious and Patrick being even more furious. I just think it's really funny that I had the police literally called on me for being a teen mom because I looked younger than what I actually was. But yeah, thanks girl for giving me some content. We ended up going home, making some good ass tacos and being pissed. That's, that was the night. So the whole highlight of the story is the tacos. They were delicious. But yeah, I will see you guys next time and have a great one, guys. Bye.